All right, so here's the former UFC light heavyweight champion, Jamal Sweet Dreams. Hill wrested the title away from Glover Teixeira at UFC 283. That was January of 2023. One of the better championship performances of that year. But then Jamal Hill tore his Achilles playing basketball. He was unable to defend the title, which eventually he was forced to vacate. But as an athlete, as a boxer, as a grappler, a lot of people still believe this is the best 205-pound fighter in the world. He's got another opportunity to prove just that here on The Proving Ground tonight. Still undefeated, here is Kamzat Shimaev making the walk tonight as a middleweight. A lot of people think eventually he's gonna be a UFC champion and he's got a big fight in front of him tonight. I mean, this guy's a monster, you know, from his mindset to the way that he competes. Kamzat Shimaev is one of those guys that passes the eye test. The moment you lay eyes on him, you said this kid has something special about him. He has great wrestling, he has great striking, he has great cardio, the guy has it all. And I'm so excited to once again watch him compete and sit here in his seat and call his fight. The work ethic has never been an issue, perhaps the diet at times when it comes to getting down to 170 pounds, but this man is a problem and ready to impose his will here tonight. Tell the tape for this middleweight championship fight. All right, now for the introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> champion fighting out of the red corner presenting the reigning defending UFC undisputed middleweight champion of the world Hamza Bosch Shabaya Herb Dean our referee for this one great all right, early round action here as we get a look at Jamal Sweet Dreams Hill. And Jamal Hill just speaks to the overwhelming depth in the light heavyweight top 10 right now. A lot of folks wonder when John Jones was out of this division, what would the future look like? It looks like Jamal Hill. A lot of people believe his striking game is such that he could be the next UFC heavyweight champion. Oh! Back to the feet! between the two fighters. Overhand left. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round, and the damage is really starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's really starting to take its toll, and you watch the opponent. He's walking gingerly on his leg, and one big tell that you're starting to really do well with your leg kicks is when your opponent starts to switch stances. Right. Watch for a stance switch very soon. 
Shemaev's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he will try to chase down that pitch. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be head running the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. That was stuck in. Nice strike. Back to the body shots now. That one blocked. Gets in close and gets that single collar tie locked in tight. Lands another strike upstairs and for his opponent, that is certainly not going to help matters when it comes to the swing. He can't miss it. When you saw the swelling initially, you knew that he needed to change something. He still has not changed it. And wow. And there it is! Holy smokes! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 14 seconds of the very first round. To claim the winner by knockout and new USC middleweight champion of the world, Jamal Sweet Green. All right, so we got a new UFC middleweight champion, and this is a title that no one can ever take away from you. He's got a UFC belt at his home for the rest of his life. For the rest of his life. And they say it takes a village to build a champion. Yeah. And if you look behind...